Hi everyone, my name is Tracy Kent and I'm the principal here at Berlin Elementary School. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome all of our families back to school this year. Whether you've decided to come back in person or remotely, we're really excited about having our school community back together again and starting off on a new school year. For those of you who have chosen in person, we've put together a video to showcase one of our fourth grade classrooms with teachers Stephanie Neer and Courtney Bursaw to give you a better sense of how a day might look for those students who are here at school. Hello, Hello Mountaineers and, and families. Welcome to our fourth grade classroom. I am Courtney Bursaw and this is Stephanie Neer. We are the co-teach fourth grade classroom. We're going to talk to you about a few things that our uh, classroom has um, to keep a safe and healthy environment. Before we start doing that, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the things the teachers are doing to keep our building a healthy environment. As you can see, we both have masks on, and before we come into school, we have to take a survey and have temperature checks and sanitation um, to make sure that everyone is staying safe and healthy. So one of the safety protocols that Courtney and I kept in mind as we were setting up our classroom was the measurement of um, six feet apart. So we have six feet apart from um, leg, table leg to table leg. Eventually these tapes are going to be coming up. However, the thing that will remain is under each leg there's a taped X and this is to indicate if tables move that the leg needs to be moved back to the X. The kids will be helping us out with that part. So in fourth grade, we are going to be sitting at tables. There are three kids at a table. Each child will have their own trifold, which we'll talk about um, in a little bit. But also what each child will have is their own cubby. This will be their own personalized space. And in it will be their book box, an eraser board, their math book, their notebooks and folders that will be coming in from school. And also, they'll have their own pencil pouch. Inside of their pencil pouch, and this has all already been handed out as to what they need to bring in, they'll, wear their, they'll keep their earbuds. They're going to keep a handheld pencil sharpener because we won't be getting up and going to the pencil sharpener. Um, any kind of markers that we would use, dry erase markers, scissors, pencils, glue sticks, all of these items are going to be kept in their pencil pouch and put in their personal space. There will not be a shared bin at all within the, our classroom. The other thing that um, we're going to have these posters out and visible for them to just always kind of self-check themselves and make sure that they're doing things correctly and we'll have a hand sanitizing station um, at each, um, for each table. This happens to be the Rochester table. We do that just because in fourth grade we have to um, know five major cities, so we just name our tables the, um, after the cities. So they have their own hand sanitizer, which will be kept at the, on, the, on the tray, and that will be specific only for that particular table. So, Mrs. Neer said that people are going to have trifolds. Even though trifolds seem like a new thing, I know a lot of teachers use these kind of dividers so people can have their own personal space when they take tests. So it's sort of the same idea. This is the trifold that our school is going to have. Um, I know that we are getting trifolds that have clear windows inside of them. So that way when you are sitting at your desk, you'll have your own personal space to do your work but then you can still see people in front of you, you can still see le to the left and right of you with the clear window. So again, it's very similar to like a testing kind of area, but you can still see the people around you, so you can still uh, be with your friends. Another thing that um, Courtney and I wanna share with you is when we set up our room to take into account the social distancing and the other things that we needed to keep track of, one thing that every year we always have to keep track of our the fire codes and one thing i want to point out is our rescue window can never be have something in front of it so in that arrangement nothing here is is going to be in in front of it it seems like 
we keep hearing everything we can't do. So we're going to talk about some fun things that we can do and we're going to actually start with the book station. So even though we have all these procedures and protocols we have to follow, we can still do things like read books in the classroom. This is our library station and every Monday in fourth grade students will be able to choose five books to keep in their book bin. Um, they can go through, pick out the books that they want, then it will be sanitized before the next uh, student comes up and gets more books. They keep them in their personal cubbies and they keep their books until Friday and then on Friday they return them to the book in Friday or books in Friday um, bin. And so they put their books in here, and then we're going to quarantine those books for 72 hours and then put them back in the library. And this is how we're going to make sure that everyone is keeping safe and germ-free um, when involved sharing books. So we still can do these kinds of things in the classroom. And I know Mrs. Neer has a lot of other good things that we can still continue to do in our classroom. So your children, when they come to school, will still have recess. Um, we're keeping it outdoors unless it's a rainy day, weather permitting. They will be separated into quadrants, so our class will have one quadrant and they will stay with the children in their class. They can take their masks off if they're sitting at the table behind their trifold and working. However, if they stand up and leave, they have to put the mask back on. It's no different than if you go to a restaurant now. Um, your students will be, or your kids will be able to socialize. That's kind of a big thing that I know a lot of last year's kids missed out on. When we would have Google Meets, they just missed their friends, and we missed them. So they're going to be able to socialize. They're going to be able to be part of group discussions here at school. They're going to have their specials. Their specials this year are library art, technology is new, and also music. Those four will. Um, come right to the classroom. They will not leave the classroom for those specials. They are only going to leave for PE and they will go to the gym or outdoors for PE. They will um, eat their lunch and breakfast here in the classroom in their spot and they also will be able to have their birthday recognized. However, this year we will not be able to accept any kind of food items sent in. Um, if you want to send an item in, I've been told that you could maybe purchase pencils for your child to pass out if you choose to, but we will still recognize their birthday here at school. So really when they come to school, we can still build a classroom community that fosters strong relationships between teachers and peers. So we can't wait to see you this fall when you return to school and so that you can see your friends as well. We're looking forward to seeing your smiling eyes. I hope you found this video helpful. However, if you still have questions in regards to any subject in returning to school, please feel free to send an email to schoolreopening at berlincentral.org. And remember, Mountaineers are responsible, safe, and respectful.